What's up guys? Today I'm bringing you guys another video of fishing black drum. This time I'm going to do something completely differently. I'm going to use a hand line setup right here. I found this in my garage this past weekend. It's probably something my dad had from a long time ago. It's already spooled up with braid. I want to say there's 30 pound test braid on here. I have no idea. It looks really old, but whatever. It's all I got, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm probably going to tie on 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon leader and then a 3-0 circle hook with a weight with a crab on the end and I'm going to just sling it out to where the black drum are going to be and then hopefully get a hit and see how a handline setup works. I've never used one in my entire life so I don't even know what to expect. I don't know how to use it, how to fight a fish with it or anything. So it's going to be interesting so stay tuned guys. I'm going to go get some crabs now and then we'll go get some black drum. Walking around now looking for some crabs. Really windy day. There we go, got our first one. There you go. First crab. So far we have one crab in the bucket. It's a pretty slow day. I haven't really seen too many crabs. The shoreline that I really wanted to walk and look for them is really blown out. So I'm having to go around here and there's definitely not as many crabs back here. This little shoreline looks pretty good with all the oysters on it. Out of the bucket, out of the net, and into the bucket. There we go. All right, I'll catch you guys up when we have a lot more crabs in the in the bait bucket because it is going really slow today and I don't want to waste battery looking for crabs so I'll catch you guys up soon. Alright guys we got our first crab here we're about to rig up. I'm using a 3-0 owner circle hook. I believe I put 40 pound uh, fluorocarbon on this, Seaguar fluorocarbon using a swivel and then a two ounce egg sinker and this is hooked up to the handline rig and I believe this is I want to say it's 30 pound braid I can't really tell for sure again I just found this in the garage so I don't really know what exactly I'm working with but I guess we'll see how it holds up hooking the crab up now like so all right Now let's launch this thing out here. All right, we're just gonna throw it real close. See what happens. Got eight.
Got some sort of fish on right now. It's not pulling too hard. It can't be that big. It's making a little wake right here in front of us. Looks like it might be a redfish. Yeah, look at that. A little a little redfish on the hand line. Oh my gosh. I can't even believe it. That's like a slot red. Alright, I'm gonna release this guy. I really wanted a big black drum, not not a redfish, so I'm gonna get this guy back out there and then put another crab on and see what we can do. Here's the redfish. A nice little release then. There she goes. All right, let's try to get a black drum now. All right, we're gonna rig up a fresh crab now. This one looks good. Hooking it up now. All right, through there like so. Looks still pretty sharp. All righty. out a little bit and then cast it. Pulling some line off the spool now. Should be good. I'm gonna launch it out there now. All right, it's pretty deep. There we go. Something big. I think it's a black drum. Oh yeah. It's pulling pretty hard. I don't, it's hard to control a drag on, on a reel like this. Like I don't wanna not let it run at all in case it breaks through the the leader, but I mean it is pulling pretty oh yeah that was a nice yeah look at it right there. Lines all all up in an oyster right now. definitely a lot easier to fight these things with a hand line. I'm not going to force them in just because I am only using 40 pound leader. And it's, yeah, it's not ready to come in yet. Yeah, that thing's pulling hard. It's cutting right through my fingers. Definitely, gosh, recommend using gloves if you do this ever because this is not easy on the fingers at all.
Had a bunch of weeds on the line. I can see the drum right there. It's not that far. I just, I'm not going to horse it in. Took long enough for this thing to bite. So the last thing I want to do is lose it right now. Yeah, there it is. It's a nice fish. Definitely a nice fish. It's right in that trough right there now. Yeah, it's a nice drum. Wow. Anytime I try to pull it up to the beach, it just takes back off. Gosh, it's a nice fish. pretty much just holding itself right here. I don't want to put any more tension on it. Hey, look at the size of this fish. Oh yeah, it's coming in, it's coming in. Got its head turned. There she is. Oh yeah. Huge drum. Huge drum on the hand line. Look at the size of that drum on the hand line. Hooked perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Wow. I'm gonna go get some pictures with this thing and then we'll get it released. Just now getting back to the house after an awesome day of fishing. Using the hand line setup for the first time was an absolutely awesome experience and I have nothing but great things to say about it. You know, it fights fish very well. My only complaint would be how hard it is to cast. Casting a heavy bait with a heavy weight, you really can't throw it that far out there so I was having to wade pretty far out to cast it out. but. It ended up working out. I actually got a bonus redfish today, which I wasn't even expecting. And the fact that I'm able to now say I caught a redfish on a hand line, it's pretty cool. And on top of that, an absolutely massive black drum. I was not expecting a black drum that big. And of course the one that ate was huge. So I'm very happy about that. And overall, it was just an absolutely awesome day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have another video next weekend, so or next week, so don't forget to like and subscribe in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, and stay tuned. I'll see you guys again soon.